Hey everybody, welcome to the Red Zone. I'm Mike, this is Sean, and this is our college football pick 'em for week two, our predictions. And uh, Sean, let's just get right into this real yep. quick. Um, Utah, BYU. I've got Utah on that one. Uh, Utah didn't look too good to me in their game, but BYU obviously, you know, ah, man, that one's tough. Yeah. I'm going to take Utah as well. Yeah. Um, South Florida, UConn. Got South Florida in that one. They looked... They looked pretty good week so, one. They struggled a little bit early, but then they came on at the end. UConn looked absolutely hideous, yeah. so I'm taking South Florida. Uh, Louisiana Monroe, Florida State. I got Florida State, I think, with their uh, backup quarterback. You know, they they have they get the players. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to have a good backup quarterback. Maybe he's not ready. I think he's a true freshman. Um, but with a full week of game prep, I think that, you know, I, we've played uh, UL Monroe a few times, and, they're another one of those teams that you should be able to. Kind yeah, of Florida handle. State. You know, they're coming off a loss. They're just too much for Monroe, so I'm going to take Florida State. Ohio Bobcats at Purdue. I got Purdue. They looked good against uh, Louisville, um, so I've got them taking care of Ohio. Purdue looked a lot better than I anticipated yeah. them look, but the Bobcats scored 59. It was Hampton, so uh, and they weren't able to throw the ball that well, which surprised me because I thought they'd be able to throw a little bit more. Um, Kind of based on this, last year Ohio went to Kansas and won. Uh, I don't think they can do it this year. I'm, I'm going to have to take Purdue. I want to take my homeboys, the Bobcats, but I'm going to have to take Purdue. Yeah. Um, Oklahoma State at South Alabama. Um, Oklahoma State. I think it's Oklahoma Makes State. Um, people are saying this could be a trap game. I don't, I don't think so. There's too much offense there. Oklahoma yeah. State all day long. Miami at Arkansas State. Uh, I've got Miami. They, uh, they took care of uh, – mm -hmm. What, what was that, Bethune? Bethune Cook. Yeah. BCU. Yeah. I'm going to take Miami. Miami, I, all I want to know is, what the heck are you doing going to Arkansas State to play a game? I mean, why isn't Arkansas State coming to Miami? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it's weird. really that's, weird. That's like Oklahoma going to UTEP back, yeah. you know, I, I can't ever get the year right, but it was 2011, yeah. 2012, one of those... But, and they struggled with them too, so yeah. maybe you know. Who knows? Maybe it's, they've it, got Justice uh, Justice Hanson. They've got OU's old uh, backup quarterback over at Arkansas State. Arkansas and, and he State. Can throw it. Everybody down there on that campus. This is their national championship game. Yeah. I mean, no, so, but I've got I've got Miami. I got Miami too. I think you know thirty points. They're on a roll. Louisville at North Carolina. Got Louisville. I think nobody's really talking about um, Lamar Jackson, but he he played a really good game through for what, three or four hundred something yards and mm -hmm. looked really good doing it. You know, Louisville, to me, they struggle with Purdue. I don't know if that is Louisville not as good as we think or is Purdue better than – I'm going to think that Purdue is better than what we think. Yeah. So, um, but this game, to me, a little bit of a toss-up. I'm going to take Louisville, but I wouldn't be surprised if North Carolina wins it. TCU at Arkansas, good game there. Yeah, I've got TCU. Um, they, they shut out. Whoever they were playing, I, I yeah. forget who they were playing. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to go. Uh, this one, I'm. I'm not too sure. I don't really know a whole lot about either team. Yeah. So, I'm going to take the SEC in this one. I'm going to pick Arkansas. All right. So, I mean, it's just a toss-up pick for me because yeah. I, you know, I just don't know a lot. Delaware at Virginia Tech. I got Virginia Tech in this one. Ranked team against yeah. you know a, a smaller school, so. I don't know, in that. Del Delaware, do they still run the wing T? They they, they've they got that option wing T offense. It's, yeah. I mean, it's very, very difficult to stop. But, yeah. you know, from what I've seen so far in the game that's being played right now with West Virginia, Virginia Tech, their defense looks pretty good. I think they could stop it, so I'll take yeah. Virginia Justin Tech. Justin Fuentes, I, I think he's a yeah. heck of a coach. I think he'll, he'll take care of business. Montana at Washington. Got Washington in that one. I'll take Washington, too. I, I I don't think it'll be close. North Carolina, North Colorado at Florida. I got Florida. Um, even though they've got some players suspended there, I think, you know, smaller school, mm -hmm. uh, SEC, their defense still looks good. Um, so yeah. I'm not too worried about I that. I don't one. know anything about North Car Colorado, so I'm going to take Florida, Florida in this one. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte at Kansas State. I got Kansas State. Kansas State, State yeah. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, Boise State, Washington State. This is an interesting one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take Washington State in that one. Um, I don't think I'll ever be able to pick Boise State <laughs> in okay. any event. After 07. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like a, um, I didn't get to see Boise team. State this week and what they did, but I did watch the Washington game. Really kind of – they won 31 nothing, but I was, I was expecting more out of them. They yeah. struggled most of the game, and so – 
Uh, it was a win for Leach, but I'm going to take Boise State in this one just just based on what I saw with Washington and thinking that they're not ready for a typical Boise State team. Yeah. But I could be wrong on that one. But um, ECU at West Virginia. I'm going to take West Virginia in that one. ECU is always a good program that always kind of is up there and yeah. knocks off teams, but I, I think West Virginia is going to be too much for them. Fresno State at Alabama. I'm going to take Fresno State in this one. <laughs> sure you are. No, I, I, Alabama all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the tie as well. Uh, Indiana State at Tennessee. You got Tennessee. Tennessee. I mean, there, there's a lot of these games this week that are just no-brainers. Chattanooga, LSU. LSU. Um, Chattanooga's actually come to Oklahoma before we got to see them um, play back in, like, 2010, I think. Um, and they're another small school that they're just lucky to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Florida Atlantic at Wisconsin <laughs> in this Lane Kiffin's team, Florida Atlantic. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're um, going. I got Wisconsin in that one. Yeah, Wisconsin all day long. Wisconsin looked incredible last week, so I uh, can't pick against them. Georgia at Notre Dame. This one could be interesting. That is a that's a that's going to be a good matchup. Um, I've got Florida. Jake Fromm, uh, the true freshman there at Georgia, who came in for um, the injured quarterback. Their uh, Georgia starting quarterback went down with an injury and. Um, I think with a full week of game prep, I think Jake Fromm is going to be a really good quarterback for them. Uh, man, I, I didn't get to watch the Notre Dame game, so I don't. I just know that they won. They won pretty convincingly, but I don't know. I just don't know about this one. So you say Georgia's quarterback went out? Their starting quarterback? Yeah. Then I'm going to take Notre Dame. Yeah. Just based on that, I. I, I they don't win know. four games last year or something. They did, but uh, they, Brian I mean, Kelly's still a heck of a coach and. He's coaching I don't for his life. And, and we saw with Kevin Sutherland and um, Texas A&M, the start of that uh, game against UCLA, coaches that are fighting for their jobs mm -hmm. tend to get their guys ready to play. And their guys want to play for their coaches, Except too, for as well. Texas. Except for Texas. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just uh, kidding. So you're, Calm down. So you're taking Georgia. I'm going to take Notre Dame. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Nebraska at Oregon. Man, Oregon won like 77 to nothing. Um, I'm going to take Oregon – I think I got to take Oregon too. I like Nebraska. I really want to pick them, but it's at Oregon. If it, if it were in Nebraska, I might flip that, but it's at Oregon, so I'm yeah. going to take Oregon. Um, Pitt at Penn State. Last year, Pitt knocked off Penn State, so I think Penn State's got some revenge um, in their heads. So I think Penn State takes care of this one. Panthers head into Happy Valley to take on the Nittany Lions. I think. Penn, Penn State gets it done. Yeah. I think they get their revenge. And then they've got to play, you know, Pitt's got to turn around and go play Oklahoma State the week after that. Right. So look for a trap game there. Yes. Um, you know, if Pitt gets beat by Penn State, we'll talk about that more next week. But, yeah. um, you know, you could be seeing a team that's kind of, mm -hmm. kind of ticked off for the week before if they right. lose, if, right. if they do. But I've got Penn State in that one. Me too. Cincinnati at Michigan. I got Michigan. That one. Oh, man, I had, oh, I do not want to pick that I team know. up north, but I, I'm going to have to go with the Maize and Blue in this one. I'm not saying the name. Stanford at USC. <laughs> I'm going to take Stanford in this one. USC just did not look like an elite team. Um, they at least didn't look like a, a top five team to me. Um, and t Stanford's up there in the rankings. Um, don't know a, a ton, but David Shaw is a heck of a coach. Mm -hmm. um, I think they – do you know where it's at? It is at USC. That kind of makes a difference, but you know both color, uh, California teams. So, based uh, on what I saw with USC, I, I got to go with Stanford. I'm going to take Stanford in that yeah, one. I have to go with Stanford. Auburn at Clemson, big one. Yeah, it's um, a huge game. Two of two teams that are breaking in new quarterbacks. Um, Clemson's got a ton of talent. Mm -hmm, they do. Um, Auburn's also got a ton of talent. They're kind of they kind of mirror each other. Yeah. Um, pretty well. Uh, I would probably give the edge to Clemson. Where's that game being played? It is at Clemson. I would say I, I'm going to take Clemson in this one only because uh, Clemson always seems to have really good wide receivers. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't really see a wide receiver for Auburn that I was impressed with in the uh, in the Sugar Bowl against Oklahoma. And that that's not to say somebody couldn't emerge, but um, I'm going to take Clemson in this one. I don't – I mean, Auburn and Clemson both did what they were supposed to do in week one. Mm -hmm. I thought Auburn looked pretty impressive. I have them winning the SEC, and most most of that is just 
I mean, I'm putting I'm putting everything on the shoulder of Stidham. Yeah. And so because of the two diff- the two new quarterbacks, I have more faith in Stidham going down the, the stretch of being able to make plays um, when he needs to. I'm going to go with Auburn in this one. Okay. Uh, finally, the, the 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 game, the only game that really matters, Oklahoma at Ohio State. And I've got my prediction for that game in another next. video. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do a we're full not telling preview. right That's now. That's right. We're not. We're gonna. You're gonna have to watch our other video. We're gonna have a breakdown. What we think is going to happen. That's where we will make our prediction for this game. So that's our pick minus the game. And mm-hmm. uh, we hope you will uh, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and look for that video where you will get our picks for Oklahoma at Ohio State. For now, I'm Mike. This is Sean. Boomer. You've been in the red zone. O H. No. N O. <laughs>